Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. So today what we're going to be looking at is uh, procedure blocks again, and uh, we're actually going to be looking at a new feature that was added in 2020.4. Uh, so this basically allows you to detect uh, from pretty much most places uh, the radius of a player. Now, it's a little bit buggy. As you can see, the radius of where uh, everything is, the is where the obsidian is, so it's not exactly centered. Uh, I'm sure they'll try to fix this in the future. Uh, from what I was reading uh, with uh, the developer, it was vanilla setting, so it might need some tweaking. It'll probably be fixed in the future. But uh, outside of that, uh, I have a couple things that are going on in this particular um, environment. Uh, the first thing is the outer rim right here is testing if the player is in it. So if we enter it, TNT will spawn on the top above. And if we get close enough, um, it'll be easier here. Uh, it will set it on fire. So with that, it will it should automatically ignite the fire eventually. There we go and then it will explode the TNT. And most of the time it will drop the block as well. But um, let's get into the actual procedure and I'll show you how that all got set up. So one procedure, it was on a block update tick and uh, what I've basically done here is use the new uh, does entity exist at and then in square cube and then this should be um, si with size and then the size of whatever um, area which it is so five seems to be right next to the block for some reason uh, like I said some of this might need to be tweaked a little bit mostly with this little setting right here but then it, we're also testing for the type of entity so you can basically test uh, for the player or multiplayer which I have uh, done on both of these and this one's testing for a closer radius so if the player gets right up close to the block then it's going to spawn fire uh, two blocks above and down here it's just uh, doing the exact same thing but uh, spawning TNT if the player's in a 10 block radius. Um, to find this procedure, uh, you can go to, I believe, world data, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then there is two different options. Uh, the one that I used is the first option, does entity exist at, um, and then there's another one which is uh, get nearest entity at, and then this will basically, is a little bit different, this one, targets the nearest entity to the block where this one will test for all entities in the given area and uh, this is the radius you can offset the cords if you want to and lastly you can set the entity that you want so uh, this is a boolean which is um, true or false statement uh, you can choose uh, basically any of the entities that you want to test for and uh, basically do some extra interesting procedures. So that's the only example that I have for you today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.